Hi, I'm John, and welcome back to another episode. Today it's going to be a bit different. We're going to talk about the morning routines I get up to to start off my day well. How do I start my morning? When my alarm goes off and I have to do get out of bed, I give myself five seconds. If I hit the snooze button, that is an indication to me that I've already made the decision to postpone things that I want to do. My alarm goes off. Five, four, three, two, one. So what do I do after that? I'm thinking about how I want to be for the day. Visualize the type of person I want to be and how I want to react to certain situations. If I have work that day, I'll think about what things can trip me up that day and how I want to respond to those situations. So if I work in uh, mental health and if someone gets angry or aggressive, I think about what I want to, how I want to respond and who I want to be in that situation. And I think about at work with my colleagues, what type of person do I want to be? Do I want to be happy? Do I want to be friendly? So I set my intention and I visualize who I want to be for that day and what I want to get done. And I try to do 10 minutes of just some meditation to center myself for the day. In the morning when things haven't been busy, there's no expectations from our boss or our parents or our partner. We have 10 minutes to ourselves. Next thing I do is I think about what I am grateful for. So it doesn't have to be something massive. It can be something small as I'm grateful to have a warm bed to go to. I'm grateful that my shoulder can rotate without feeling pain. I'm grateful I can breathe. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for my family. I feel that gratefulness because if you start your day off feeling grateful, you appreciate everything else. Who has ever had the Monday idea? So they wake up and they dread it's Monday and they, they, can't, they don't want to get back to work. They go back to work after two days off and you're just dreading it. But a lot of us experience this, but a, a way to change the way we think about it is like you change your mindset to what I have to do, to what, what do I get to do? What part of my job allows me to do something that I'm really looking forward to? So for me, I changed the way that I thought about it, what I have to do today, to what do I get to do? So I get to talk to my patients, I get to have that human connection, I get to maybe do some sports and activities with my patient, play some table tennis, play chess, bring some laughter and smile into on, with the nurses that I work with. I highly recommend exercise in the morning because it wakes you up better than coffee does. You release those endorphins and your body is awake. Luckily for me, uh, my mode of transport to work is by bicycle. I get to ride my bike into work. 20 minute bike ride for me, 20 to 30 minutes, and I get to exercise. What you can do if you're commuting to work, maybe on um, public transport, listening to podcasts or something educational. For me, that's been game changing, learning all these things in the uh, times in between, before work or on my commute to and from places. That is my morning routine. Wake up, five seconds, get out of bed, start to visualize how you want to be and how you want to react throughout, throughout the day. Next thing would be meditation, spending a bit of time for yourself because in the morning is the best time, no one's awake, no one's bothering you. Do a bit of exercise and listen to some educational stuff like podcasts or um, some audiobooks or something of interest to you. And that's a great way to start the morning. Next time we'll talk about evening routines, how to set up your evening for the most optimal way to live life and how to prepare yourself and set yourself up for the next day to make your day awesome.